Hello everyone and welcome back to Now I Know. In the last two videos we talked about western blotting and southern blotting and today we will cover northern blotting. Now you might know northern blotting is a technique that we use to detect the RNA or to detect the gene expression. Now what do I mean by gene expression? When a gene, let's say for example there is gene A that I am interested in. Whenever any gene expressed it is going to get transcribed and produce RNA and then further translation to produce protein. So if any gene is expressed that means it is going to produce the RNA and this is what is here we are going to check. So that means a gene expression that is the synthesis of RNA can be checked or can be detected with northern blotting. So level of gene expression any gene that you are interested in what is the level of expression of that particular gene whether it gets expressed it does not get expressed what is the level of that particular gene expression that you can detect with northern blotting or if you are working with certain drug or in certain condition you want to see what will be the effect of this particular external effect on expression of this particular gene A you will do northern blotting okay. So that's what uh, gene expression or detection of RNA mean in case of northern blotting you might read uh, either of the thing both means the same. Now before we go ahead here's an important information for those who are preparing for CSIR net and especially those who are preparing for gate 2021. Uh, many of you keep on asking about metabolism lecture. So here's an opportunity for you. An academy is conducting a detailed discussion and practice session on metabolism, especially for people who are preparing for gate exam. Have a look at all the classes, all the lectures that are being conducted. They are all for free and they are completely in detail they are each one hour sessions so click on the link that is in the description box in order to access all these lectures and you can use my code no 10 in order to access any of the free classes or unlock any of the free tests that are available and in case you are planning to purchase with this code no 10 you will get 10 percent discount on your subscription so make sure you take complete advantage of it just go and have a look and start preparation well in advance so if i want to study a particular uh, gene expression what should be my first step logically i need to isolate the rna from that particular sample because I want to see whether that gene is expressed or not and generally when we talk about all this these are all known genes that we are working with because uh, seldom that we work with a rare or very unknown gene. So we are going to work with a known gene and we know what kind of uh, expression what kind of RNA we are expecting. So we'll take that sample and isolate the RNA first okay so that will be my first step isolation of RNA. So you are going to isolate the RNA from a target cell whatever is your target cell you isolate the RNA and now you need to separate it your interest of RNA that is simply done by gel electrophoresis RNA gel electrophoresis. So you have isolated the RNA now run it on gel in order to separate based on their molecular weight based on their size. But we know a very uh, well feature of RNA is it is in secondary form it will you know uh, it will bond with, with itself, self bonding will happen and it will become in a secondary structure and if it is in this form running it into a gel and separating, is, uh, separating it is a task. So we need some mechanism that can keep the linear structure of RNA intact so it is easy to run it on a gel and separate it based on its size and for that we are going to add formaldehyde. Formaldehyde will make sure that the linear structure of RNA is maintained. So we are going to run gel electrophoresis with a little twist of adding formaldehyde to the gel. Now as we have spoken about before also once the bands are separated once your RNA is separated it is in the gel. So detecting in the gel is not possible so we need to elute it from the gel and transfer it on a membrane where we can do the further detection and so the next step is going to be the Blotting. Blotting means now we know transfer of a 
band or transfer of a macromolecule from gel onto the membrane and this again the same thing that we uh, discussed in the southern blotting we have the uh, blotting we are going to use the capillary action method where we have the transfer buffer on transfer buffer we are going to put the uh, blotting paper first this is your support that is glass plate you have the blotting paper above the blotting paper is what we keep the gel this is my gel and above the gel is going to be my nylon membrane on to the nylon membrane again blotting paper and paper towel in order to keep it uh, properly intact you are going to put weight over it and with the capillary action the buffer will start going from down to upwards and as the buffer moves when it goes from gel to nylon membrane it will take the transfer the bands and uh, when this transfer whenever you will see that this blotting paper and paper towel is soaked that means the transfer has occurred and the bands are transferred onto the nylon membrane now what you need to do is detect the bands that are present on the membrane now one step before detection comes here is uh, you are going to kind of lock all the bands that would be transferred on the membrane okay that could be with the use of exposing it to uv light or heat okay so once you have transfer your bands onto the membrane you keep this membrane under the uv light or heat expose it to heat in order to fix these bands onto the membrane so it will be tightly bound it will it will be permanently bound to your membrane now this membrane will be detected for the presence of rna now we want to detect the rna now you remember that was in linear form because we added formaldehyde and then we have fixed it on the onto the membrane if i want to detect this uh, rna that is linear onto the membrane i need some kind of a prop that is complementary to the rna right it is rna remember it is not the dna so either you use the complementary rna or you use the complementary dna which because we know the sequence we know what kind of rna we are expecting so in market you have a ready made available props that are labeled so accordingly you use a labeled uh, prop either rna or cdna that can bind to your rna of interest okay so now this membrane that is fixed by uv light or heat you are going to pour prop solution on it okay now this probe can be labeled in any of the way we have talked about it in the last uh, previous two videos once you allow it to bind if your rna if your gene is expressed your rna is present so if your rna is present the probe will go and hybridize with your rna of interest okay then what is the next step easy hybridization has happened you wash it off when you wash and go for detection based on what kind of a uh, probe it is you can use any auto radiography fluorescence method or any kind of color change you will see your band that is present on the membrane if the gene is expressed and based on what is the level of gene expression the intensity also will be differ if you don't find anything either you have done something wrong in the protocol you need to make sure that everything has gone fine or your gene of interest has not expressed or it has expressed so low that it cannot be detected so that means in the end if you find uh, any kind of uh, band that means your gene has expressed okay it's very easy to understand if you have understood the previous two methods uh, that's why i have not gone over the basics once again but uh, just to give you a brief idea northern blotting is done in case when you want to see the gene expression because that's when the rna is made so you know what gene you are working with you know what kind of a rna you are expecting so it it becomes easier so you isolate the rna from your target cell run it on a gel now to avoid the self binding of the uh, uh, rna and to avoid the secondary uh, structure you are going to add form formaldehyde that will make sure that your rna is in linear form so it becomes easier for you to detect later on once it is uh, the gel is run you transfer the bands from gel onto the membrane and this membrane you are going to treat it with uv or heat in order to fix these bands permanently on the membrane once the bands are fixed onto the membrane now move on to the hybridization add the probes that are complementary to your rna that you are looking for once the binding happens wash off the excess of uh, props and 
go for the detection based on the kind of a prop that you have used you are going to use the detection method if you see a particular band that is present that means your gene of interest has shown some kind of expression so that's all about northern blotting it's comparatively easy if you have understood western blotting and southern blotting if you still have any doubt you can comment here or reach out to me on instagram and dm me and i'll try to get back to you so that's all for now i hope uh, this video was helpful i'll see you next time until then keep learning